I have a really big photo shoot tonight. Um, I'm going to do a what's in my bag for this. Um, so what this shoot tonight, it's not like anything I've ever done before. So basically a friend of mine from theater uh, during COVID got married but didn't really have a reception and then also today she is graduating with her PhD and she also just turned 30. So basically this thing we're doing tonight at this event place is like a belated wedding reception slash graduation party slash birthday party. Most the emphasis I think being on the graduation because she's going to have on the marquee thing outside like doctor and miss Mr. and Doctor and stuff like that. So it's a lot more like themed for her graduation. Basically, I'm gonna be doing a lot of candids, which is not something I've ever really done much of, but also decorations, um, getting photos of their dance together, their speeches, um, photos outside under the marquee, things like that. And then um, I actually, she doesn't know this, but I actually, since my fiance's gonna be there with me and he's not comfortable taking photos, but he's okay with video. I am bringing a third camera for him to get some videos of things like their dances and stuff just to give them a little something extra. So I have a bag I packed for him to make it more manly because he even said I'm not carrying a, or I'm not using a camera with a pink strap and I was like it's fine. I have a strap that I've never used because I hated it. I bought it off Etsy and I did not like it. Um, so basically I have this old camera bag that my dad gave me which fits this camera. In front all he has is a spare battery because that's all he really needs. If he needs memory cards or something, I'll take care of it, but it's got a dual card slot, so I think once one fills up, it'll switch to the other for video. Um, but for video, I prefer my Olympus. Um, this is the OMD EM1 Mark II. So, and Olympus just has excellent in-body image stabilization, so that's why I would give him this. And I also have my Pro 12-40 uh, F2.8 lens on here, which is just a really smooth transitioning, like focusing and um, zooming lens. So for video, this is perfect. And then I have this strap that I have never really used. It's just, it's a very stiff leather and it smells funny and I just, it sheds. I just really don't like it. But I was like, here you go, honey. It's a black strap. You can use that. I knew the battery on this would die. This is my Canon G7X, the original, which Canon has never been great with video and batteries lasting. My Canon RP, I would never use for video because of that reason. <laughs> so anyway, that's why I use the Olympus. It's great. Um, but anyway, now onto the photography gear that I will take with me, which may be overkill, but I just want to be prepared. I don't love the fact that I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to like carry this on me because I just feel weird at like a reception type thing. Even though there's only gonna be like 40, 50 people there, I just feel weird setting my bag with gear in it down anywhere. I just don't want to. Um, but this is what I'm using. This is my Carlin Creative bag. So this is great for like bigger photo shoots because I can fit a lot in here. Now, I don't use the insert that they provide with the bag because it's too... The like I know it's padding but the padding is just too much and I can't fit more than like a camera and a lens So if I want to take two bodies more lenses, I have to take that out But I have another bag. I think it's melee bag or something like that That's a smaller bag that I use a lot I actually use it as a purse sometimes because it's great for that too And it has a much thinner protective insert in it So I will actually put that one in here and then put my gear in and then I can fit more so it's all zipped up It did all fit, but you will be surprised at what all I fit in this bag and before I do that too, like, so if I were carrying this bag, like, this is what it looks like on, and then it has this strap here too, so that like, when I don't have my cameras in it, I can just slide it around me. It's just, it's a lot to carry around. So usually my fiance carries my bag for me at stuff, but um, we'll see. So in here, I got a lot in here. Um, I don't still have enough space for all my lenses. So I always, because I tend to keep, in my purses, I tend to take a camera with me in my purse, yes and I take the lenses with me. Um, I keep a lens in a little pouch here, like a little protective pouch, and I almost always have my 85 1.8 with the um, little RF adapter on it so that I can use it. Because I pretty much, if I'm carrying a, per a camera in my purse, it's my RP now that I have it, because I want to protect my 5D4 and just not have anything happen to it. Plus it's bigger and bulkier. But I love my 85 for like, if we ever go out and we just want to put up the tripod and take some photos, I really like using that. Um, and then I just put one of the dividers on top. Uh, let's see, in here, so now we can see it a little more. I have on the side, I have both straps. So I have my photo strap, which I use on my RP because it's much smaller and I don't feel like that holds my Canon as well, or my 5D4. And then I have this one I got off Etsy that holds my Canon really well and it also has my little name engraved on it, so. Um, but I put those on the side because they tend to take up room when they're on the cameras, so. I sometimes will take the cameras and just put the body in here and then put the lens separate like with a little cap on, but I didn't do that today. I may have more than I need, but I just want to be prepared. 
So like in the side here, on the side, not in one of the protective pockets, I have a lens. So this is my Sigma 35 Art f1.4. Um, I can't decide if I'm going to need this one or not because it's a great lens, but it's heavy and bulky and I have on my RP, I have the 35 f1.8. So part of me is like, do I need another 35? Probably not. So chances are I'm just going to take this 35. I feel weird leaving anything at home. But then on my 5D4, I have, I just got this today. I got a new 50. So this is the 1.4 because I can't afford the 1.2. Apparently I can't sell my 1.8 for like anything, which sucks because it's like in excellent condition because I've like never used it. I just, I don't feel like that lens is professional enough for me. So this is the 1.4 um, and that's probably what I'm going to use. But then I'll have a 1.4 lens. So that's where I'm like, I don't necessarily need the 35 for that. Um, so that's the lenses. So that's, this is that, I'll take this divider out so you can see it. This is that divider from my other one. So it's very thin, but it still is a divider and protective. And it just slides, it fits in here so well that like, I'd rather use that than the one that came with this. Because the one that came with this just takes up the entire bag and it's just huge. So, um, and then I don't know if I'll need this, but because it is an indoor event, I am taking my flash. This is one I got off Amazon. Um, I am not really great with using flash. So I'd rather not have to use it, but I'm taking it just in case and I'll practice with it some more today before I go. And then the only other thing, I don't like that this bag has no pockets. That is my one complaint. There is no zipper pocket, nothing to put anything in. Like, I feel like that would have been very easy to just put on the side here. So I took a pouch from one of my purses. This is not a real one. Um, and I put all my little gadgets and gizmos in here. So for something like this, I would put a pack of gum, cause you never know. Um, I have boning and ibuprofen because I might need those. I have batteries for my RP and my 5D4, extra batteries. Um, Brad's battery for the Olympus is in its bag, so he has that. I have this full of SD cards um, if I need more. I have a little liquid lipstick is what I'm gonna take for me in case I need it. I have a pen, because you never know. This is my SD card reader. I probably don't need that, but I just always put it in there. This is my lens cleaner. And then the only other thing I do is I usually carry a bigger wallet than this, but for something like this, I will use, I got this little tiny wallet and I will just put my cards, my ID and some cash in here and my business cards. And that's all I need. And then it's like really thin. So it fits in here because my wallet is a much thicker wallet normally. So that all fits in there. And now I will show you how I fit it. Oh, and the only other thing in here I have is just her invitation, just because, I mean, I already know where the venue is and everything, but I just like to do that when people send me their invites, I bring it with me. It's not like I'm necessarily doing detail shots. We'll see, because this isn't like a wedding wedding. But, oh yes, I'm pulling little things back in here too. So those are all in my little pocket. The only other thing that would be in here that I do this every time is my phone. So I have the iPhone 13 in pink. And that's the only other thing that'll be in here. I don't have any pockets in this dress and I'm probably wearing this tonight, so it'll just be in here. Probably just down on the side with all the side stuff. Um, so we're gonna put things back in here how I had them earlier. Okay. And now we'll put the straps on the side here. I do really love this bag. I just, the only complaint I have, and I think other people do too, is just that there's no pockets. So maybe that's a thing they're doing on newer ones or something, I don't know, but I, I really do love this bag. I also have one of their wallets that has the SD card slots in the wallet, but it's a bigger wallet, so it would not fit in here with all this. Um, I'm trying to think how I wanna do this. Yeah, I'm just, I'm thinking, the more I'm thinking, the more I'm like, I don't need to bring that 35 because the chances of me actually needing that when I already have a 35, like, I don't know why I would need both. Even though I know it's a good lens, I'm like, and I probably in that case would take my 85 out and stick it down the side here so it fits a little smoother. And then, don't even need to put this extra flap in or that little thing. I know my cameras are a little wonky so I might readjust those, but then see, all fits. Zip it up, and that's all good to go. And then, like I said, Brad's I got in here. I probably could, I don't know if I could fit that strap in there because it does not move, it is not bendable. I probably could have just put the strap that came with the camera on there, but like this is just easy to clip on, so <laughs> he has that. Um, but yeah, 
that's what we're doing tonight. So hopefully that all goes well. Um, she's paying me a lot to do it, which is really nice. I'm a little nervous because it's just very different from anything I've done and it's all indoor, which I do better with outdoor lighting and settings and things, but I still think it's great. And she even said to me, like, because she's followed me for a long time, she's like, your photography has gotten so much better in the last few years. She's like, it looks so good. And I was like, oh, well, thank you. So that's what I'm doing tonight. And that's what I pack in my camera bag. So now you know.